in the long history of our country called Kenya, never before, never ever, has a sitting president had to remind us that he is the president and commander-in-chief of all our armed forces. That has never happened before. That is until yesterday when William Samuel Ruto reminded us of the same. Of course, cynical people will say this is same old, same old because this administration has made a mark in terms of achieving many, many firsts. Things happening that have never happened before. Like the long delay of payment of salaries to civil servants. But to be fair, this administration can also now take credit of the very first head of our armed forces, chief of the armed forces, chief of the defense forces, from Luo Nyanza, yeah, with the appointment of General Logola. Although other people may argue, there are not many options, because in the army, hierarchy rules. Okay, But then still they can take credit for that. Let's give it to them. And it would have been nice if this administration recorded a number of other positive firsts. However, we all know a vast majority of the unprecedented achievements of this government have been negative. They are not achievements at all. Anyway, on the eve of the resumption of the Mandamano protest demonstrations by Kenyans for a better Kenya, a few things are happening that I want to draw your attention to. Okay? Now, let us first of all agree that both sides are not really telling us what they're going to do. Okay? What they're doing is issuing public statements. Some of them are issuing threats. Yeah. But the real thing they're going to do during the Mandamano tomorrow remains hidden. Yeah, because in case you didn't know, this is a battle of wits. And when you're in any battle, you don't want the opposing side to know what you're going to do. The element of surprise is important. So let's get that right. And so let us start by understanding that what we hear them saying, yeah, whatever it is, is not what they're going to do. It will not be very easy for us to read what will happen tomorrow. By just listening to what both sides are saying. Indeed, what they are not saying is much, much more critical, much more important than what they are saying. Yeah, which I guess is the same in any other situation in this life. When you are having a discussion with somebody, a quarrel or a misunderstanding, what they are not saying is what is really important. Okay? Anyway, let us start with a statement issued by a man called Adamson Bungay, who is the regional police commander for Nairobi County. And I have to start by asking, why is it that every important government official, every UDA politician, all of them talk the same, all of them think the same, precisely the same? In other words, all of them are robots. Because you see, as human beings, we have our own way of expressing ourselves. Yeah, if I want to say something, I will say the same thing as you, but I'll not say it in the way you're saying it. The way you present it will be different, maybe even more eloquent than mine, but your own words, your own way of expressing yourself. But in recent times, we have seen in Kenya the emergence of robots. Well, there's only one explanation for that. And let me take you quickly back in history so that we understand. Legendary politician and founding father of the nation called Kenya, a man called Tom Boyer, had his own people, pointmen, countrywide, yeah, just like Ruto has. And in Ukambani, Mboya's pointman was a man called William Mbolu Malu. Honorable Malu was the legislator for Kilungu constituency in those days. 
an illiterate man. He had never been to school even one day. But he was a boy appointment. And so before every meeting, Bwanamalu would get a briefing from Boya. Yeah, many times over the phone over what to tell the people. And those who are keen observers then would notice this man is talking exactly how Mboya would talk. And why should that be surprising? The man has been briefed by Mboya himself on what to say.